So this is how the Shopify store has been able to generate over a million dollars in revenue using this affiliate marketing strategy where they send traffic to their affiliate marketing page and their affiliates go out there and get customers that are able to generate over a million dollars in revenue for them. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the exact strategy that they've used to be able to achieve these results. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Camille Satan and is the Ecom King. And in today's video, I've got a complete case study and store breakdown for you where I'm gonna be showing you a Shopify store called Sale Dress where they've used an affiliate marketing strategy to generate over a million dollars in revenue. And I'll be putting all the proof on the screen right now. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the exact setup they've used, what app they've used to do this, how they've set up that app, and everything else in terms of what they're doing on Facebook ads. I'm gonna be giving you guys absolutely everything so you can recreate this success in your own store. Now, I've even got an extra mile for you guys, and I've actually created a free Google Doc cheat sheet where it's got all the copy and paste templates that you're gonna to need to be able to follow along with this video and get a step ahead of everybody else. Now, for us to obtain this free Google Doc sheet, we need to hit 2,500 likes on this video. So make sure you smash the like button because it's only 2,500 likes. We can achieve that in a few days. Now, if you're part of the Ecom King VIP members, you'll be able to achieve this free Google Doc sheet straight away in the community section. It has been available for the last few weeks. So make sure that if you wanna get these free Google Doc sheets that I make on the channel a lot earlier than everybody else, join the VIP members. You're gonna get lots of cheat sheets a lot quicker than everybody else. Else. Now make sure that you subscribe to the channel, you turn post notifications on because I've been told by my subscribers that they've not been receiving notifications when I upload videos. And the reason for that is because YouTube at the moment have limited entrepreneurship videos on the reach. So please make sure you turn the post notifications on and you subscribe to the channel to make sure you're never missed out on this amazing content. So guys, as you can see, I'm currently on this website called saledress.com and this is the website that's been able to achieve over a million dollars in revenue using an affiliate marketing strategy called Earn Money. Now this website here is very simple, saledress, it's about dressesonsale.com and you can see their logo here, it's got a shopping handle on the S and it's called saledress, very simple. When it comes to the website, you know exactly what to expect and people are gonna be expecting absolutely amazing deals like this, up to 70% off on the website for bikinis, things like dresses, outfits, which which is exactly what they say they're doing. Now, if we scroll down, now do bear in mind, all of this stuff is from AliExpress, Alibaba, and China warehouses. They've got the trust badges. They do a little bit of menswear, but you can see this is the actual niche and industry they currently focus on, which is women clothing and active wear. Now you can see here, hot deals. Now these are all the type of industry market that they're currently going for. So these outfits that they're selling are outfits that big influencers wear, like Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Cardi B. Those type of influencers all wear clothes like this and this is what this store is all inspired about it's about it's about giving people that are your normal people a chance to wear clothes that famous people wear not the exact same clothes but something like similar to them to make them feel really really cool so based on that a lot of people that buy from this website are people that are uh, just in university, college, they're people that have just got a job. They haven't got much disposable income, so when they shop, they wanna be able to get good deals and earn money. So what this website's done is they've been able to give you good deals whilst letting you earn money through their affiliate marketing, which is a very powerful way to get customers and then get them to give you more customers. And as you guys can see, all these clothes that they're selling is all influencer marketing based. All these people are just Instagram influencers, and it's gonna get those people that follow these people really hyped up. Now. Let's move on to some data quickly. And the data that I'm gonna show you is from e-commerce inspector. And I'm gonna be showing you the apps that they use. And you can see the, all the apps here, Lucky Orange, Loyalty Rewards, Privacy, uh, Product Reviews, Smart Social Login, Tidal Live Chat. I'm gonna be going over the app they've actually used to set up the affiliate market in, in the next few moments. Now, if we have a look at the actual Facebook ads that they're running, you can see that they're running three Facebook ads right now. And you can see they're for they're for women's wear, dresses, and stuff like that. Now, what these guys do, just to break down so you guys understand how this all works, is they run Facebook ads, and then from the Facebook ads, they get you to come to the website, and then on the website, they get you to go to where it says earn money. So when you check out at the end, it's gonna prompt you to go to the affiliate marketing. After you buy something from them, they're gonna follow up with you with email saying, join our affiliate marketing, earn money with us. And whilst you're on the website, you can see it says earn money. So they really try and get you to buy, 
but whilst you're buying or after you bought, you then join their, you then join their sorry, their earn money, their affiliate marketing, and that's how they've strategically been able to do it. And because they focus on people that haven't got much disposable income, it's a great way for them to actually get people on board. So when you click earn money, it takes you to this page right here, and it says become an affiliate, earn up to 30% sign in, and it's got all the information, it's got a video showing you what it's all about and how it all works, and then it gives you a tier system of silver, gold, and platinum. Obviously, it's gonna make you feel more important if you go through the silver and gold and the platinum, and then it's got all this other information, then it's got join now. So when you click join now, it greets you this page that says sale dress affiliate, join our affiliate program. There's three tiers that you can earn rewards on, silver, gold, and platinum, ranging from eight to 30%, which is gonna get people enticed, and then it says here you can learn about other details when you sign up, and then it says more than a buyer, free, easy to join, and it's an affiliate marketing program. You fill out all your details, and then once you fill out all your details, it will take you to a page, and I'm gonna show you right now, if I log in quickly, because I've already signed in with them, um, I'm gonna show you exactly now what it will look like. It takes you to your dashboard, you get your own affiliate link, so you can see here when I go to the dashboard, you can share your affiliate link, and you can earn commission, and then as you guys can see, if you go to marketing tools, it'll actually give you the stuff that you can post on social media to help promote this company and earn commission. So now I've given you guys context on how this all works and how they've been able to achieve these results. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can set this up in your own store and much more because there is a lot more to this than I've shown you, but I'd rather show you that when I create it with you. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do your Facebook ads so when you run them, you can also get people to join your affiliate marketing like they've done because they've kept it very simple. They get people on Facebook ads to come, buy from them and then convert them into affiliates. And that's how they've been able to achieve these results. So guys, the first thing that you need to do is you need to get a Shopify store. Now, if you don't currently have one, be sure to use my free trial link in the description. You'll get 14 days for free on Shopify. Now, once you've done that, you wanna to go to the app store and you wanna download an app called Up Promote Affiliate Marketing. And if you look in the cheat sheet, I've actually linked it here in the cheat sheet for you and all the other important links that you need to check out. And as you guys can see here, I've also given you all the copy and paste templates. So make sure you smash the like button so you can get that free cheat sheet. So guys, once you download the app, you'll be greeted with a quick start process. And this is a great process to watch and read if you're not very tech savvy and you're not used to affiliate marketing. I definitely recommend you give it a read and give it a watch because UpPromote's done a great way of teaching you guys how everything works inside of the app. And then once you go through all that, it will take you to a quick process setup. Now this is just a quick way to set up everything. Now I don't recommend you do this because I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it the full version way instead, but I'd recommend you give it a quick look anyway just so you understand all the different features. Now, once you've gone along, click exit. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to pricing. Now, I will recommend you go for the professional plan and that is currently the plan that I'm currently on right now. And this is the plan that you're gonna to need to be able to get the same features as the features that Saledress used for their affiliate marketing program to help them achieve over a million dollars in revenue. So once you've chosen your plan, and again, like I said, I'd recommend the professional plan if you wanna be able to have the same features as Saledress, then what you wanna do is you wanna head over to programs. And when you head over to programs, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make a new program. Now, you want to be following along with the cheat sheet because this will make life a lot easier. And you want to hit add new. And then when you click add new, what you want to do is in the name, you want to go into the cheat sheet and you want to scroll down and you'll see here it says affiliate program tiers. And what you want to do is you want to copy and paste this into the actual form. So you can see here, we're going to go back here and we're going to put where it says name, paste it in there. And in the description, you're just going to take all of these these um these, um, these these actual benefits, and you're gonna put them in the description like that, and then you're gonna click active to mean that the actual uh, program is active, and then you can see here, flat rate per order, you're gonna change this to percent value, and you're gonna do simple, and the amount you're gonna be doing on this one is showing here. So you can see here, it does show you how much you need to do, which is currently 5%. Now, once you've done this, you wanna make sure that you exclude shipping and you exclude taxes because it's important that you do so. And then you wanna to go to where it says here, um, dis disabling custom commission for self-referral. You wanna turn that one off, meaning that if they refer themselves, they get paid. You don't want them to be able to do that. Lifetime commission, that's basically meaning that it doesn't matter what that customer orders, after the first order they do with that store, if they go on to order another six items, maybe three months down the line, they'll get paid commission on that as well. So lifetime commission means that 
it doesn't matter what customer they bring to you, if they order it, if they order stuff after a year, two years, they still get paid on that customer. So if you have that enabled, then you will give them that commission throughout the whole life. Now, I only do this on the platinum tier or the gold tier in my instance. I don't do it for the first two tiers. So I have that actually turned off. And then once you do that, you can actually add that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna add another program. So then what you would then do is you'd go back to programs again and you'd click add and you'd hit add new. And then the same thing again, you're gonna go back to the cheat sheet and you're gonna do the next one, which is called the silver program. Copy and paste that into name. And then in the description, you're gonna do the same again, copy that into there, turn it on, change the flat rate to percent. And remember all the percent values are shown here. Now, based on your own store and your profit margins, you can decide on what you wanna do. Now, if we go back over here, what you wanna do is you wanna do the same again. Do not turn lifetime commission on if you're gonna be following my tactics. I don't do that one. But now you're gonna be adding a new program. So you're gonna go back to programs again after you've saved that one. And you're gonna be adding the next one, which is our gold program. Now, you're gonna be doing the same again, copy and paste everything in. And then this time you wanna be turning lifetime commission on because these are the ones for the people that have done really, really well. Now, what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna be going through the different um, tiers that we've got. So everybody will start off on the bronze ambassador program or affiliate marketing. You can call it an ambassador program, you can call it an affiliate program, it's up to you, but everybody will start on this one. Now, if we have a look at the uh, programs that I've currently got set up, you can see that this is classed as the default. So once you've done this, guys, you wanna make sure that you make this the default by just clicking the little circle. Now, Up Promote will give you a um, tier system already made. I've deleted that one by just clicking the bin symbol, but to delete it, you'll need to create a new one. You can't delete it if it's the only one, if that makes sense. Now, once you've done that, this is the standard one they'll be on once they join the affiliate program. Now, what do they need to do to actually go up a tier? So you can see here, earn $30 and you'll be moving up to the silver tier. So once they've earned $30 in commission, then they will automatically move to the silver program. You can see here, they'll be moved to the silver program. Then if they wanna get promoted to the gold program, they'll have to earn at least $175 in commission to move to the gold tier. And then they will be on the gold tier and that will really entice them then to go out there and smash it with the affiliate program. Now again, those are the frameworks that I've given you guys. You don't need to follow those exact ones, but those are the ones that I personally recommend. So once you guys have done that, then what you wanna do is you wanna head over to where it says auto tier commission. And what this will do is it will actually help you automate the process. So once they hit those uh, thresholds on commission, they'll automatically get promoted without you having to do it manually. So what you wanna do is you wanna change the level condition to commission value and you wanna turn it on. And you wanna keep level one the basic one. And then you wanna add a new level by clicking add new level. And you wanna select the next program and then put the commission that they need to be upgraded to the next one in. And then you can see here, then they get upgraded to the next one. And then you do the same again for the level level three, and then you put the value in here to get them to be upgraded on here. And once you've done that, they'll automatically be upgraded to the next tier based on the commission that they brought into you as a store, which helps streamline everything and make everything a lot easier for you. So the next thing that you guys wanna do is you wanna head over to the settings in the bottom left of the tab, and then you wanna go to where it says general, and you wanna put your contact email address in here, and you wanna make sure that the email address in here is the one for your store, like info at your store name or contact at your store name and then you want to make sure that this is turned on and then the brand name needs to be whatever the brand name is for your store and then the sub path is should be whatever your store name is as well and then you want to upload your logo here and then the default affiliate link is here but I also have it as uh, affiliates are allowed to customize their own link if they want to because obviously they want to have their own name in the link which looks more professional and then what you want to do is you can actually do a generated short affiliate link here by using um, bit.ly uh, personally I don't do it but you can if you you want to and then you want to be doing tracking by coupon you want to turn that one on and you also want to have auto generate coupon that way it'll save you a lot of time and how you do that is you want to hit set up coupon and you want to go to Shopify and you want to create a discount and you want to call it influencer and once you do that you want to put the name of the coupon in here and once you've done that it will work automatically and in terms of this is the actual coupon that the influencer and their basically their users will get so when they promote something on their story if that if that influencers uh, subscriber or follower uses that coupon, they get how much off. So I normally do it as five or 10%. 
And then once you've done that, they'll automatically get coupons. And then you want to have chat with affiliates turned on, which makes them be able to contact you if you need to. And then you want to have auto activate affiliates on. And you want to make sure that you, all of these are turned on, especially require the W9 form submission. This is basically a tax form that they need to fill out um, so you don't get into trouble. So make sure you always have that one turned on. And once you've done that, hit save changes. So once you've done that, you want to move on to analytics and you want to turn both of these on. And then you want to move to payment. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to have PayPal on and you want to have store credit on and you want to have export invoices as well that way instead of the influencer keep asking you for invoices they'll automatically be done message bar you don't want to have turned on integrations i'm going to be going over that in a little bit later with you guys um, and the one that i do on here is the um Tido live chat so i'll come back to this at the end um but i'm going to go over the, the next things for you so then what you want to do is staff accounts and this enables people to be vas on here when they chat with affiliates so guys we now move on to the fun part of the setup which is setting up the affiliate registration now where it says affiliate guide you can miss that bit out i personally don't change it i keep it as default now affiliate registration is basically this guys i'm going to show you right now which is the form that they fill out to become an affiliate and as you guys can see this looks very similar to the cell dress one right now and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can fill this out guys and you can see here I've got a felt on the left here now I need to resize that and I'll be showing you how to get that done in a minute now the first thing that you need to do is you need to select the program as the basic program and then in the page heading you want to put join our affiliate program and you want to leave these two underneath empty you do not want to be adding anything to them now, once you've done that, the reason why you've left them empty is because that will, that's, what we're, that's what we'll be given here. We're going to put a photo there instead. And then what you want to do is you want to go to where it says form fields and you want to make sure that all the ones that I've got checked here are checked on yours. And you can add more if you really want to, but they're the ones I think are necessary. Then you've got the benefits text. So you put the you put the show benefits here and you put each tier here. So you can see I put all three tiers and then I put exposure opportunities as well as an extra. And you put the commission value per that. And then what you want to do is I put exposure opportunities potentially be featured in a viral ad. Who doesn't want to be featured in a viral ad? That's the way I look at it. It. and then you've got the button tax here and i put on mine join the family login now and then the colors the colors need to match your website colors um, and and so forth and then the font can match your website font as well to make it look congruent so now you come to a section called background and this is where we make the image for the side section of the form and you're going to be uploading it here where it says side background image and what you want to do is you want to head over to canva and you want to use the 14 day free trial in my description um, to get the extra benefits and you want to type in on canva vertical business card or anything to do with vertical click create a blank canvas and then once you click a blank canvas you want to upload an image here of so for example you can click um, elements you've got photos now the photo that I used was business so I typed in business and it comes up with people shaking hands and obviously you want it to match something professional now depending on your clientele depends on what image is it going to be men or is it going to be women so for example of mine I used a woman and I'm going to show you mine again here you can see two women shaking hands so you want to upload it on there and then you want to get some text and you want to drag it over and you want to type in something example is mine become more than a buyer become an ambassador that's what i've written on mine and then what you want to do is you want to download that and then once you download those you want to then go back up here and upload it and then you can preview your ambassador program by clicking that and then you want to make sure that you resize it to fit it exactly now it can get annoying to resize in it but after a few times it will fit perfectly once you do that you want to head over to logo and you want to show your logo and make sure you got your logo filled out on the settings for this to work then you got terms and conditions you need to use sample template use sample template makes life easy and then you got the custom css which is for developers i don't recommend you do this and then you got this which is the capture for bots you want to have that turned on so you don't have any bots messing around with your affiliate program then you got the affiliate login and once you've done this you want to have it as affiliate login forgot password do you have an account the button text log in now the background and then the custom css which is for developers and then you've got your affiliate account customization which is very important so if you want to you want to basically go to where it says commission information and you want to have show commission value and you want to only have this one turned on you don't want the customer's name to be shown and you don't want the address to be shown because they are very um, important information and information that people don't want you to know so make sure you only have commission value on that way it shows the affiliate what they've earned. Yeah.
Then you've got affiliate account language and you wanna make sure you turn this one on English and then you have affiliate select language and auto detect on. That way when they log into the affiliate program, it's all auto detected and it makes life really, really easy. Now we're gonna be moving on to the creative section, which is right here. Now this is where when your affiliate logs into their affiliate marketing program, this is where they're able to find the social media posts that they can use to upload to their story to help promoting it. So what you want to upload on here are things like product images, sale images, and you want to be creating all of these in Canva. Now, if you remember what the sale dress one looked like, they had loads of different call sale um, designs made and they put them in, in here and what influencers will do is they'll put it on their story and they'll click swipe up and then people will swipe up and take them straight here. So make sure that you upload loads of different designs like um, sale designs, photography, have it all uploaded here, even upload videos if you want to, but the sky is the limit with what you do. The more creatives you upload here, the more that influencers have to work with to potentially promote your products and obviously get a sale going through the door. So guys, now we're moving on to the email section of the affiliate marketing program. Now, when it says pending affiliates, this is all on the left-hand side, you wanna make sure that you turn this off because you're doing auto approve, which means nobody should be pending, so turn this one off for spam filter. And then you wanna, by doing that, you just click the status and then click save and it will turn it off. So you come down here now, you click save and you'll see now that this one's been turned off. Then you wanna to go to approved affiliates and this is the one that you wanna spend the most time on. Now, if we go to my email, you can see that as soon as you sign up for a sale address affiliate, they'll send you an email and you can see it right here. It goes through all the different benefits and it really, and they also attach a video as well onto the email to tell you how the affiliate marketing program works. So this is very, very, important. Now, when you scroll back up, you can see they give you all the information on how everything works, what you're going to be doing as an affiliate so you get off to the best start. So we're going to be recreating that as well. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the subject line is your affiliate account has been approved. Let's start making money to get people motivated and pumped. And then you can see here, I've given you the uh, copy and paste template as well. So if we go back to the cheat sheet, you can see I've got it right here for you guys. So you can just copy and paste that in. You do need to change a few different things here as well. So you can change it to your brand name so it makes sense and then once you've done that guys you want to hit save so what I'd also recommend that you do is you add the link to the video explaining how your affiliate marketing program works and the way you want to do it is you want to add a video to your Vimeo account and then get a link and link it here and then that way they can watch the video now let's talk about how to make this video so if we go back to sale dresses website you can see when you go to earn money, they have a video here. And I'm gonna play the video, I'm not gonna play it loud, but it's literally just a video of somebody doing a voiceover, showing them what the affiliate marketing dashboard looks like, what's in there, how they can use it, and how they can integrate it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to download a screen, um, screen sharing software from OBS, for example, I use OBS, and then you just wanna basically go over it and you wanna use a voiceover. So you can either do the recording first, you can record record this and not do a voiceover, just show them the different sections. And then what you can do is you can use a free voiceover. So if you don't wanna personally talk in the video, you can just script the video and type it in here and somebody else will say it. So if you don't want, if you're shy and you don't wanna say anything, you can use a free voiceover and that's been linked in the description. Or if you wanna get something done a little bit more professional, then I've actually left a link in the cheat sheet to a Fiverr um, freelancer that does, a f that does voiceovers professionally. And you can see here, and that if you wanna get a real professional feel to it, then use the Fiverr person. Now, the, the one that they've used in here is just an automatically generated voiceover, the one that's for free in the cheat sheet. And again, they've just recorded a video of explaining what the dashboard looks like, how to get the most use out of it, and then they've got some voiceover robot to go over and explain what it all means. So that's how you wanna be doing it, guys. And again, it's all linked in the cheat sheet. Make sure you get this done because if you wanna get the best results, you need a video designed for your affiliates. And this is your dashboard where you can create an embed link. So you embed the link on your website. So you can actually embed this link on your website so it will show on your website. Now, I don't recommend that you do that. I would recommend that you get a direct link and you copy that link. Now, as soon as people go to this link, check it out. So as soon as you go to this link, it's going to take you to the affiliate market and sub. So you can see here, it takes them to my, basically my sign up to sign up as an affiliate for my program. Now, what you want to do is you want to head over to Shopify. You want to go to online store and you want to go to where it says navigation. 
And then what you want to do is you want to go over to menus and you want to go to main menu. And then what you want to do is you want to create a new menu and you want to call this one earn money. You want to call it earn money. Because remember, the same as with the salesdress.com, uh, they have a menu, and I'm gonna show you this again just in case you forgot. They have a menu at the top called Earn Money. And when you click that, it takes them straight to an affiliate marketing. And how they've done that, guys, is exactly what I'm doing now with you is creating a new page, Earn Money, and then they paste the link here, and they click that, sorry, let me do it again. You paste the link there, and you click the link and then you click add once you've done that you will see this link appear and if i go to the online store on the store you can see here it's got earn money at the top as soon as you click that it will take them straight to your affiliate marketing setup and that's exactly how you integrate it with your shopify menu so guys this part is extremely important because now we're moving on to the section where we've now got our affiliate marketing program and now the key to this is sending traffic to to our store and converting that traffic into a customer, but more importantly, as an affiliate. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to where it says convert customers to affiliates by going to the growth tools section. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to post purchase pop-up and you wanna make sure that this is turned on and you wanna split test this to see if it kills your conversion or if it can increases conversion and your affiliates. You wanna turn this on by clicking active and you wanna make sure that you turn the bronze program on straight away. Now you don't wanna click assign customer as a downline. Now, now, I'm gonna be going over this in a minute, but this is to do with MLM, and I'm not fond of MLM, and I do not endorse it. So personally, I do not have this on, and if you are somebody that agrees with it, this is up to you, but personally, I do not. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna head over to design, and what this does is, before you purchase, it's gonna show a pop-up saying, do you want to join an affiliate marketing to earn a commission, to earn money, to potentially getting something for free? That's what this does. So that's exactly what this is gonna be doing and you can change this and design it to however you want. Now, I will be leaving examples in the cheat sheet of some of those that I've created so you guys can have a look. Now, if we go to email template, this is the template that they're gonna receive once they check out. So once you add your email to add to cart and you abandon it, this this email is gonna get sent straight out. Now, I will be leaving the template in the free cheat sheet as well, so you can copy and paste it in, but this is how you're gonna convert these customers into people. Now, the, the whole key to this is, you either want them to become a customer, worst case, you want them to at least become an affiliate. Now you've got convert sign up customers. So these are people that have actually bought. So these are people that have bought, now they're at the checkout. They've bought, they've waited for their product, now they're at the checkout. You wanna turn this on? And this is the email that they're gonna receive once they buy. Now, again, I'm gonna be leaving the template in the cheat sheet so you can just copy and paste it, but make sure that you have these turned on so you can smash it with the conversion of turning paid traffic customers into affiliates. Now, the next thing that you've got is the MLM thing like I told you about, um, and this is basically about, for example, let's say one affiliate comes in and they recruit another 10 affiliates, they get commission on those affiliates. So again, this is down to you guys if you wanna do it. Personally, I don't endorse or do it, so I'm not doing it, but it's obviously there, and this is a very powerful way of making money with affiliates because it's basically merchandising. So remember, just think of it as McDonald's. McDonald's have loads of different franchises. Now, McDonald's doesn't own every franchise. They only own a few brands in the McDonald's franchises. So franchising is when people pay to own a McDonald's and they have to pay a commission to McDonald's as a company for the sales that they earn. And this is exactly the same thing. Now, again, it's based on your opinion, but it's a great way to scale if you agree ethically with this structure. So if we quickly take a look at selldress.com, they have actually implemented the multi-level network section in their affiliate marketing where it's able to let affiliates earn a commission on their affiliates. Um, and I know this is a great way that they've used to make a lot of money with their affiliates, but personally it's down to your ethics, but they are doing it and this is one of the ways they've been able to kill it with the affiliate marketing. So guys, that's how you set up the affiliate marketing side of the strategy for this case study. Now it's all about how you implement it into your product pages and your overall marketing. So now what you need to do is you need to make sure that you add this in your product description. And I'm gonna be putting an example on the screen and in the cheat sheet. So 
when people go to your product page, it also says on your product page that they can earn money and then it links them to the earn money affiliate marketing section. And at the bottom of the description, over all the product details, it will then say, and it'll be highlighted. And this is a great way to entice people to do both. Now you need to be very careful how you strategically do this because you don't wanna turn people from being customers into strong affiliates because you wanna make sure that they buy from you and they also are affiliates. You gotta be very careful how you promote this because you don't wanna overdo it and make your Shopify store more of an affiliate than it is people buying products. You have to be very, very careful, but you have to slowly implement it in different sections. So you wanna have it in your footer, earn money, you wanna have it in your title menu, and you also wanna have it in the description at the bottom of the description in a highlighted color. And again, the strongest way you're gonna be able to do this is by making people buy the product and then get an email about it, or as they're buying the product at the checkout, they get a prompt. You don't wanna be doing it too aggressively. Now, let's talk about Facebook ads. So when you're running your Facebook ads, this is how you're gonna get people to come to your website to actually see the information, the product that you're trying to sell them, and also how to earn money. So without you running Facebook ads, this isn't gonna work because you've got nobody coming to the website to be able to actually see the information that you're providing on the product that you're selling and on the affiliate section that you're providing as well. Now you can do things like email outreach or influencer outreach or Instagram marketing, but it's just too slow. You wanna be doing Facebook ads and seeing if people prompt the affiliate marketing side as well. And that's basically how you do it. You do not wanna be saying in any of your Facebook ads, um, earn money. You can also earn money if you buy the product or you can also earn money as becoming an affiliate because it's actually not allowed. You're not allowed to advertise things like affiliate programs and stuff like that on Facebook. So make sure that your Facebook ads is all about the product, but then when they come to your website, like this small prompts about earning money. Now also you wanna make sure that the industry that you're getting into fits this well because you don't wanna be getting into an industry where your target audience will not suit this because they're either too old or they don't understand. With the saledress.com case study, they're going for people that are still at university, they've just got a first time job, they look up to people like Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, and they wanna be able to earn money whilst promoting it. You wanna be going after people that are influencers and you wanna be going into industries that have influencers like the beauty niche, the clothing niche, and things like that because you really are gonna get those people that you need for them to work with this strategy. So guys, that was today's video. I hope you've learned something and I hope you guys have been able to crush it with this strategy. If you've got anything that you wanna ask, put it in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys on the next video.